Hello everyone, good afternoon. In this video, I'll be talking about idle leg functionality in backend zone. Ever wished you could enter only some legs of multi-leg option portfolio now and some later based on time or any market condition? That's exactly what idle leg feature in backend zone lets you do. Most traders, they fire all legs at once. But market change too fast, right? And sometimes it's smarter to wait. That's where idle leg comes in. You define a leg now, but activate it later. So in this video, I'll walk you through a practical example of how idle leg feature works inside Backenzo and that too is step by step. So as I said that idle leg is not executed when portfolio is first initiated. Instead, it remains dormant until certain predefined conditions are met. And which are those predefined conditions are? First, a stop loss or target is hit on any another active leg. Second, at any specific time. So this functionality of idle leg is particularly useful for implementing complex strategies that require conditional execution of trades, such as adjustment of positions based on market movement. Now the question is how idle leg works in back and so. So for that you have to set up initially. So the initial setup is wherein you set up a portfolio in Backenzo, you designate certain legs as idle. These legs will not be executed when portfolio starts. It will be activated only when it gets activated or it gets triggered. Okay. So idle leg can be activated through various triggers, including execution of another leg or reaching a specific time. So I'll just give you two scenarios, uh, the two practical example of idle leg. So let's jump onto the practical example. First is execution of another leg. So scenario is you are running a straddle strategy, let's say short straddle, which is most loved uh, option selling strategy by traders. So you are running a straddle strategy at market open, that is 9.15 a.m wherein you are selling both ATM call and you are selling ATM put option. But you want to buy a hedge that is far OTM call only if put leg stop loss gets hit. So this is first leg sell CE, another leg is sell PE. Under on a stop loss condition, I have specified that if the sell put leg stop loss gets hit, I want to execute leg three and this is our leg three. So this leg three I have marked idle, it will remain dormant. It will not get executed at the start time of the portfolio, which I have defined here as 9.15 AM. It will get triggered only if the portfolio, uh, only if a put sell stop loss gets hit. Okay. So leg one is the active leg, sell ATM call. Leg two is sell ATM put. At 9.15 a.m., these two legs will be executed. And leg three, that is idle one, it will get executed only if it gets hit, the stop loss gets hit, okay? So the trigger point is put, sell, leg, stop loss. So when put leg hits its stop loss, leg three will become active and it will buy the hedge that is OTM call to reduce the directional risk, okay? Now I'll quickly showcase this onto your uh, backend zone interface. See, this is our case one scenario, wherein uh, three legs are there, sell CE, sell PE, and third is buy PE, that is hedge uh, OTM fire option, okay? So here and I have a specified target on the basis of premium, target uh, value is 10, 10 points, and similarly for the stop loss, premium on the basis of premium, stop loss value is 10, 10, right? But under this uh, leg, that is cell PE, I have specified under a stop loss, execute leg 3. And this leg 3 ha have been marked idle. It will get executed when this will hit the stop loss. So I'll just quickly showcase you over a simulator mode. So I'll just enable it by ticking on the checkbox. Just click on this red circle button. Recalibration is very important you before you perform any test mode, be it backtest or simulator. Okay, so recalibration is done. Test mode simulator. 
choose any date of your choice i'm going ahead with 10th june 2025 click on a strict timing if this is ticked, then simulation will work strictly only from a start and the square of time of the selected portfolio. Okay. And if no portfolio is selected, then this will take a start time and a square of time on the basis of all portfolios. Okay. Now click on this button. You can increase the speed. See the status is under execution. So this portfolio has gone under execution. So you can just click on the plus button twice in order to expand the option portfolio. Okay. Now just see here, this leg has been marked idle, right? It got hit because this PE leg got exited on the basis of a stop loss, right? So that's why this leg got active. I'll just increase the speed to show you only this leg is active and see the profit has come up now let's dive on to another case scenario of an idle leg so as i said that idle leg is like a backup trade you create it while building your strategy as you can see here i have created this i have marked it idle so while building you create it but it waits quietly until a specific trigger tells it to jump in right so the second trigger is reaching a specific time so the scenario is you start with a neutral iron condor which is a four-legged multi-leg option portfolio at 9 15 a.m and you want to enter a hedge only after 2 p.m. if market gets volatile. So the setup is total five leg setup is there. First, fourth, first to fourth leg will be the active legs because it's an iron condor setup wherein you are selling OTM call, you are buying further OTM call, you are selling OTM put and you are further buying OTM put, right? So these four legs are iron condor setup and this leg five is a idle setup wherein you are buying OTM put at 2 p.m. regardless of the market movement. So here, if you see here, in this particular leg, you have specified the time period that is a start time as 2, right? So this is the trigger at exactly 2 p.m. Backenzo automatically activates leg 5 to add downside protection. Now I'll quickly showcase this to you onto the Backenzo interface. So this is our second scenario of an idle leg. This is iron condor from here, from the predefined strategies I have selected iron condor. So it's a four legged option strategy, but I want to uh, buy another hedge option that is uh, put by. So I have added this uh, by clicking on the add leg button, right? Now, if you see here under this leg, leg five, I have a specified a start time as two, right? So at a start time 920 all these four active legs will be executed but this leg will remain quiet until it gets triggered right so i'll just click on the save portfolio button click on this to enable it perform the recalibration it is very important before you perform any test mode be it simulator or backtest choose date of your choice i'm going ahead with uh, 10th june a strict timing checkbox ticked click on the play button right it has gone under execution now if you see here i'll just expand the portfolio in order to showcase you the ongoings now if you see here uh, this particular leg got started and uh, if you see here under the time stamp at 2 p.m exact it has started i'll just showcase you 2 p.m right initiating leg atm plus 200 for this on the start time so this is the beauty of an idle leg so that was the practical look at idle legs in action play around with it in your own strategies and you will love the flexibility it gives but this very important thing to note that idle legs will be excluded from value all lots calculation right so this value all lots gives you calculation about all these active legs and not the idle leg. So this is very important thing to note down. And another important thing is that weight and trade will not be applicable on idle leg. Idle leg will be executed immediately on action. Suppose you uh, 
you define any uh, weight and trait for an idle leg so that's senseless right so that's all about idle legs simple to use powerful in results right uh, Idle legs, they are not just a feature, they are trading edge. Now it's your turn, go test it inside Baginzo and take your strategy timing to the next level. And if this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your trader friends. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.